We are currently living in an age where machines coexist with humans and are better at doing things than ever before. Yet we take all that for granted. But actually they have been around since the very beginning of human civilization. Where they started from tools, then into contraption, and then into digital data processing machines, which we call computers. Recently, many scientists all around the world have been developing a new way of data processing. And it's called the Artificial Neural Network. How it works basically is that it forms a structuralized way of thinking based on experience. Just like what a human brain does. This way, programmers won't have to hard code programs to the machine. But instead, the machine can learn on what to do by themselves. This is a revolution in making machines think. It increases the efficiency of analyzing large data and greatly boosts accuracy. Many of the examples are autonomous vehicles that takes us place to place. And also in health such as skin cancer detection using image processing. But this also creates worries amongst the people that these machines would take over their jobs. Because they are simply better. One famous entrepreneur, Elon Musk, suggests that highly advanced artificial intelligence may surpass our comprehension and start making decisions that we will never understand, and therefore, uncontrollable. Imagine it like this. If there is a colony of ants in an area where a building will be constructed, then we would just start the construction without thinking of those ants. And even if we care about these ants, there is no known way to explain why and how we have to build the building. Then what if we are the ants and the machines were in our position? In the future this might just happen. When machines decide to do something we don't understand and requires us to be gone, then they will with no doubt remove us. Now, of course this sounds like it's never going to happen, but actually scientists and philosophers predict that in 60 years we will arrive to that point where machine code surpass our reasoning. In the meantime, we don't have to worry much about that yet. Specialized artificial intelligence are now still commonly used in simple everyday activities, such as suggesting you videos based on what you like and analyzing your diet habit. So what do you think? Should we allow artificial intelligence to keep on developing? Or should we stop them before it's too late? Tell us what you think in the comments below. This video is made possible by all of our Patreons in our Patreon page. And thanks to you for watching this video.